If you have the forgiveness of Allah, you have the love of Allah. If you have the forgiveness of Allah and you are seeking it, it shows you are linked with Allah. It shows you are bothered about Allah. You are concerned about your relationship with Him. You believe in Him. Why would I ask for forgiveness from Allah if I did not believe in Him? Why would I ask for forgiveness if I was not concerned about the hereafter? Seeking forgiveness goes to show you have a worry about the hereafter. So it shows that you are a mu'min and you have iman. You have belief in you to seek forgiveness after your sin is actually a sign that you're a true believer. When your good deed makes you happy and your bad deed makes you sad, it is a sign that you are a true believer. Subhanallah. It is a sign that you are a true believer. So your link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is strengthened. When you seek forgiveness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never ever reject that tawbah. He will never reject your repentance for as long as you are genuine, for as long as you are sincere. You know, people come to you and they say, please forgive me. You say, okay, no problem. They do the same thing the next day. Please forgive me. Okay, no problem. They do it the third day. Please forgive me. Hey, hey, who are you playing with here? This is now three times. And you say, okay, this is the last time. They come the fourth day, please forgive me. My brother, you want me to keep forgiving you. What is it? How can you keep on doing this? But I tell you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my beloved brothers and sisters, I promise you, if you are sincere and genuine, you promise not to repeat a sin. And somehow later on, that sin is repeated due to your human nature, your weakness, due to shaitan's plot or plan. Don't lose hope. Go back to Allah. Seek forgiveness again and promise him again that you are not going to do that. And Allah will forgive you again and again and again and again. And a million times stop falling into the trap of the devil by thinking that Allah will not forgive me. Because Allah says it clearly in a verse that is considered the verse with the most amount of hope in the Quran. Allah says, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you are the messenger, go and tell the people the following. Whenever Allah says Qul, it means Allah is telling his messenger, he's giving him the message to deliver. So it's part of the message. Allah is telling him, you are the messenger. So deliver the following, tell them something. Oh my worshippers who have transgressed against me. Or who have transgressed against themselves in reality. Why does Allah say Asrafu ala anfusihim? They have gone beyond the limits against themselves. Because when you sin, it does not affect Allah. When you sin, it affects you. That's what happens. You are foolish because you are the one who did something bad. It does not affect Allah. It affects you. So Allah says, go and tell those people who have transgressed against themselves. Never lose hope in my mercy. Never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. For indeed, Allah will forgive all your sins. He is most forgiving, most merciful. So the first trap of the devil is, he makes you think, you know what? I've committed the sin one too many times and therefore it's over. No hope for me. I'm gone. I'm down. Never think that way. Remember this.